Hey guys, Andrew Edwards here, and today on Bleeding Edge TV, we're going to do a uh, speed test, speed comparison between the iPhone 4S on uh, AT&T and the iPhone 4S on Verizon. We've got a lot of questions from you guys asking us which phone is better, which one's faster, um, is uh, AT&T's uh, advantage with the GSM really that much different than uh, the CDMA phone that Verizon has. Uh, we were not able to get a Sprint device. The iPhone 4S is available on Sprint now as well, but um, didn't send us one. So we've got an AT&T device, we've got a Verizon device, and we're gonna compare the speeds of the two networks uh, using the iPhone 4S just to give you a look at uh, data speeds and which phone is uh, faster, if that matters to you. Before we jump in and do that, we just wanna quickly thank our sponsor, GoToMeeting. We appreciate the sponsorship. It keeps us here doing what we do, showing you and giving you our opinions on uh, the latest in tech. Their latest product, GoToMeeting with HD Faces, allows you to view um, up to six different webcams during a web chat. So you can view chat with six other people, see the webcams in high definition, as well as uh, share files, share folders, documents. Um, it's very cool and you can get a free trial if you go to gotomeeting.com. Use promo code podcast for a 30 day free trial. Jump in now and get to that speed test of the iPhone 4S, so stay tuned. All right, so as we said, we're gonna give you a quick speed test of uh, the AT&T iPhone 4S and the Verizon iPhone 4S. Um, the AT&T model is a 64 gig, this one's a 32 gig on the Verizon, but that really shouldn't, doesn't matter at all. Um, first thing I need to do is just set this phone up. If you're unfamiliar, actually, iPhone now you can set up uh, right on the device without syncing to iTunes first or anything. And I'm just gonna say, set up as a new phone, no need to do any of that. I can sign in with an Apple ID, which um, this will allow me to download apps and things like that, which I'm actually going to need to do because I'm going to want to download the uh, speed test app. So I'll say sign in with an Apple ID. So there we go. We're at the home screen. And I'm going to go into the app store because I want to find the speed test app. I don't need to get iBooks. I just want to get the speed test app. Test.net. Install test.net now downloading. And once we have that, we can go with uh, go ahead and start our speed test. And we'll just compare uh, the AT&T network to the Verizon network. And for some reason, it says there's no service there with Verizon, which is a little odd. I wonder why that is. Let's see if I can make a phone call and figure that out. All right, so. What I just did actually was I just attempted to make a phone call and the Verizon network came right up. So, now that we have that, what I need to do is go into settings and I'm gonna turn off Wi-Fi on both of these devices. So Wi-Fi is off, we're only gonna be operating on um, the cell networks. So I'm gonna turn Wi-Fi off on this other device as well. Get Wi-Fi, turn that off. All right, now I'm gonna find the speed test app speed test. I'll do the same here, speed test. Go ahead and use my location to find the closest server. And again, remember the white one is the AT&T model and the black one is the Verizon model. So I'm just going to say begin test. And hopefully we got them in the same. They're both Linwood, Washington. Here we go. They seem like they're going to be fairly similar in speed. The ping on the AT&T model was much slower. And the upload is not looking good on AT&T. And so here you see we have this one in uh, megabits per second and this one in kilobits per second. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to change the settings to display similarly and then go back to speed test so there you can see a more accurate picture of that first test 452 millisecond ping on AT&T 90 second on 96 millisecond ping on Verizon um, download was uh, 1.1 megabits versus 1.3 megabits on Verizon so Verizon was faster 
the upload was 124 kilobits on AT&T and 878 kilobits on Verizon. Again, Verizon much faster there, um, which is odd because actually the CDMA Verizon phone is supposed to be much slower than the AT&T phone, especially because the AT&T phone now supports um, AT&T's fake 4G, um, which is 14.4 um, speeds. So I'm going to actually put these down here so that I'm not holding them, so that I'm not doing anything to the antenna, so you can see that uh, everything was fair. And we're going to start the test one more time. So we're just going to go restart test on both. Restarting the test. Again, nice ping time on the Verizon model. Much slower with AT&T. Speeds look pretty similar on the download. I guess Verizon was a little faster. Upload is not good at all um, on AT&T, and Verizon is doing very nicely on the upload. So what I'm going to do actually is I'm going to do one more of these. My AT&T device. Let's see if I can focus that. My AT&T device is actually on my microcell, so that's actually a device I plug in here at my home and it connects to that. So I'm going to unplug that microcell and then we'll use the just the AT&T over the air network that's around here. And if I see a significant difference, maybe I'll call AT&T up and ask them what's going on? Why is my microcell um, not as fast as the just over the air connection? So let me unplug that. There we go. Now AT&T 3G. No more microcell. So we're going to try this one more time just to see how these things do. And I'm going to do it at the same time like we just did. So I'm going to say restart test. We got it connected to the Linwood Washington. Let's go restart. Oh, look at that. Much faster. AT&T is going much faster. Still not as fast as Verizon, apparently. Oh, wait a minute. There it goes. Look at that. Disconnected from the microcell. And AT&T is much faster than the Verizon device. Upload on upload and download speeds the AT&T device is killing it. Verizon just finished. So now the difference is um, the ping well let me, let me pick these up so we can give you a look at what I'm talking about here. Here's what we got now. The AT&T device still a slower ping but it got 2.2 megabits down versus uh, Verizon's 1.5 megabits down. And then upload was 1.7 megabits versus Verizon's 840. Um, so the AT&T over the air, much faster all of a sudden, um, connected to its uh, 4G network. They like to call it 4G. It's not really 4G. Um, and we'll just do it one more time, just in case you guys think that that might have been a fluke. Remember, I disconnected from my microcell. I actually unplugged my microcell so that I'd be using AT&T's standard over-the-air network rather than, rather than uh, the microcell connected to my home broadband, which is also odd because my home broadband is uh, 35 uh, megabits up, 35 megabits down, so that shouldn't have been any reason for things to slow down. Um, I'm going to restart the test one more time. Let's see what goes down. AT&T is still with that slower ping time. Here's the download test. You can see Verizon much slower than AT&T. AT&T may hit 3 megabits here. It just did. And then upload. Similar right now, AT&T going a little faster. 1.1 megabits. There we have it. So again, AT&T, 207 uh, millisecond ping versus uh, the Verizon's 83, but here you can see the download speed, 3.116 megabits per second versus uh, not even 1 megabit per second that time on Verizon, and then upload 1.1 megabits per second on AT&T versus 888 kilobits per second. Um, so if you're looking for which device is faster, um, just not using Wi-Fi, just using the uh, over-the-air signal, it's going to be the AT&T iPhone 4S. If you have a microcell in your home, you may want to check and see uh, if unplugging it might actually serve you better. Um, I'm going to have to uh, contact AT&T about that because that's a little weird. And um, that's pretty much it. The only other difference here is that um, 
if you want to use data and voice at the same time, you've got to go with an AT&T device. You can't do that on the Verizon device. You can't do it on a Sprint device either. AT&T is the only one that lets you use a over the air data and over the air voice at the same time. So that's your speed test. Um, until next time, I'm Andrew Weber. Stay tuned for more tech news through the eyes of gearlive.com.